guys how are you all doing hope you are doing fine my name is Paris Momo and on this streets of YouTube I go by the name I am underscore Paris if it's your first time on this channel feel welcome to feel home I love you already and you know like, if you know like you've been here for the visitors give them a couple like um, some wine maybe a shot some juice water you know the drill right so guys as you can see from the title of the video like guys this is a video that i've been doing for the longest time and i've never like done it i've always done it with my mind i'm like today i'll do this then like right now i just saw like a comment asking me how did i meet mara guys that is the drill that is the video for today so somebody asked me like how did you meet mara and i'm like okay today i was supposed to do a video with mara that with mara that is my boss that was about my today's video but she's so busy shooting for you guys your tomorrow's content so I thought like why not come and tell you the story because I've never said this story I've never like done it and as you can see from my background I'm coming live from Villa Medellin I'm going to take like a small clip and put it here and show you guys how green it is and guys again let me apologize let me apologize for this I've been like uh, hearing you guys telling me I speak so fast some of you can't hear me I'm like Jesus guys I'm so sorry that's how I am but I'm trying so much so that I can work on that. So, yeah, I love you all. Block kisses to each and every one of you here. So, yes, leave the talking alone now. Let's get into like the essence of this video now. So, guys, um, our bit Mara, let me tell you this. Like, you know, uh, if you know me from my previous channel. The left of Kinawin Ball, Visa Topista, Bless Charm. Like I knew, I know you guys, Katsime Grace and the rest. If you know me from my previous channel, you know that I was doing reaction videos. Like I'm Team Mara, I'm Team B, and everybody that is associated with Mara, I'm like their biggest fan. And so, how I came like in contact with Mara, guys, keep on watching this video until you understand. So I used to have a, I used to have a, a reaction channel that I used to call it like just my name, Paris Mumo. Then, you know there are these haters, these people that they call themselves reactors, but bottom line, are they reactors? What are they doing? What is their content? All they focus on is destroying Mara's brand, Mara's name, and things like that. So me, like, I used to be like that person that each every time, I'm like, no, this is wrong, this is blah, blah, blah. You know that, you know the drill. And guys, I was the first positive reactor in the streets of YouTube, supporting Mara. I was the first one. Yes. So, when I used to do that, uh, it came a point that um, I was monetizing my videos, monetizing my channel, but I had some issues that I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And you know, like another thing when you're monetizing your channel, you have like to know what you're doing. It's a simple thing, but difficult again at the same time, if that's making sense. It's simple, but also difficult. So I did that. Then it came a time like, um, guys, I'm, I'm that person that I love listening to steve harvey each and every single morning i love listening to steve harvey like because his encouragement words are just like everything so i used to see these clips uh, from instagram then i would post them on my shorts after posting them on my shorts like i didn't know that like it was a bad thing at that moment so after i post them on my shorts like i was getting good feedback from people it was even giving me like subscribers people engaging with me and i was like okay so people love this kind of thing i was like okay why not guys forgive me about the noise we are still in villa medellin and the construction is still continuing so if you hear any noise kindly bear with me so i used to post those uh, shorts hey jesus christ guys i should have gotten to do this video from outside so guys please let me hey jesus guys i'm so sorry i just hope you can bear with me so, I used to post those videos, I was getting good feedback, people were loving it and stuff. Then, I didn't know like it was a mistake to post other people's content like on shorts. Me, I, I only knew like it's bad to post somebody else's content on YouTube, but I didn't know like getting it from um, Instagram is a, is a, is a problem. Because I used to see people are posting other people's content on from TikTok, from Facebook, but they are posting on YouTube. So, like, I used to post that. Then one day, I just woke up to uh, an email that my channel had, be, had been demonetized till 13th October. So, I was like, hey, Jesus, what have I done? 
I remember the first person that I sent that uh, screenshot, it was around that time. Then Aaron was like, Paris, I don't understand this. What's going on here? So, like, uh, I called him, I explained it to him, and he was like, nah. Uh, as long as they have not, like, tem like they have not permanently deleted your channel, you are still good to go. Don't worry, everything will be okay. So, that is was that was Aaron's word to me. Then, I took the same same screenshot, I posted it on my community tab. After posting it on my community tab, I slept because it was around the, around three. I was actually coming from a wedding, so I slept off. After sleeping, I woke up at around seven p.m. So waking up, the first thing was I did not like paid for my Wi-Fi. The first thing when I bought the data for the twenty bob, the first thing that came, it's I am Mara. I sent you a photo. Then I was like, is this the real Mara that I know, or is this somebody else trying to impersonate Mara? I'm like, wait. So now you know now. That, remember, I posted that screenshot of that. I I, I had been demonized. Jesus, sorry. Hey, let me pause. Sorry, guys, about that. So remember, like I said, like I posted that thing that uh, I had been demonetized. So waking up, like I saw Mara, like sent me that um that he sent me a photo on Instagram. I'm like, is this the real Mara or I know, or is this somebody else? I'm like, okay. So I went to my community tab to see like what comments they to engage with my people and things like that. The first comment that came, it was from Mara. Don't worry, my sister, when I come back to Africa, you're going to open a channel for you. This is your this is your breakthrough. Guys, can you tell me why I was crying? When I was going back to reply to Mara's message on Instagram, I was literally, like, guys, I'm not lying. I was crying. And because, you know, I'm that person that I know the struggles I've gone. Because that was my second channel. Not this is my third YouTube channel. Like, because I knew the struggle that I've gone through. And seeing somebody like Mara recognizing me, acknowledging, acknowledging the kind of work that I used to do. Then I remember some time back, people used to mock me. People used to laugh at me, telling me, oh, you want to go far? Oh, Mara doesn't, like... Even if you do, these people will never recognize you. They are so ungrateful. I'm like, like right now looking back, I can never regret anything. All those insults, all those mockery, like they were good in a way. I'm like, because me, I'm that kind of person that I believe in. Be kind to people outside, even if you don't know them. Because this life, and again, I always say, what kind of life are you living? Are you living a good legacy or you're just living your life the way you want? What is it that you are doing? So, more like that was it. Then I sent the same same screenshot to Aaron. That Aaron was like, "Wow, I'm happy for you." Cause like one thing with Aaron, he always cheers me up. Even if however sad I am, be whatever I'm going through, Aaron will always cheer me up. Aaron was like, "Yes, go for it, girl. Yes, I'm behind you." Things like that. To cut the long story, like then after that, I also guess you know, like I was I was more as moderator on my other channel. So like uh, we would go like when he's live, we're just there talking. We would say like, oh yes, Paris, I promise this. When I come, you're going to do that and A, B, C, and D. Some people like were even saying, oh, this won't happen. Mora can't keep his word and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, that is what you think. At the end of the day, you're not him and she can never be you. So that's what you think. Like, you know, people on social media, they tend to pretend as if they know people so much because of what people on social media put. Don't you, like, you should have the mentality that these people, they have a life outside YouTube, outside of social media. So do not judge anybody based on what you see on YouTube or social media only. Because these people, people, at the end of the day, they have their lives to live and they are living it. They are so busy outside here and everything. So guys, let's continue the story. So it came to a point that uh, when Mara came back to Kenya, I, I remember I remember it was Nairobi. Then he said, because you know, everybody was like, oh, Mara, I want to meet you. Because you know, guys, even like uh, pro from the previous time that he was here at home, you know, the way people used to come, everybody's coming, everybody wants to meet Mara, collabs, right, left, and center, those kind of things. Then he said, like, you want to do collabs, no interviews, apart from Paris Mumo. If you saw that thing, yes, it was me. I am Paris Mumo. So he said they want to do collabs, no interviews apart from Paris Mumo. So it is me. So guys, I was like, you guys, I was more than happy 
more than blessed, more than privileged. Like I was so, 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 so happy. And I'm like, hey, Jesus Christ, thank you, God, because you know my struggle. You know what I've gone through in this journey of YouTube, in this journey of creating this content. I'm like, thank you, God, because it has been one roller coaster after the other. So, guys, let's push this story ahead, kidogo, like um, ahead a little bit in a way. So, it came like um when now like uh, when he came back like uh, he came back home we used to talk on Instagram I didn't have his number I he didn't I didn't have his number like I didn't have his number and he didn't have my number so we used to talk on Instagram so when it came that time I was like wow you guys he said like I should I should just give him like a uh, two he said. Two weeks then it, so that you can settle down and see how things are going then you can get back to me so like uh, then he was like he doesn't know where, where we are going to meet but the best time is when like Aaron will be coming to and the man of the world that you're talking about is there hi Marwa I'm good you so guys the man of the world that you are talking about is here hey guys this is Marwa yes. I am filming my video I have some guests I'm showing them around yeah. and I want to say thank you yeah if you're watching from I am Marwa the big channel is right here guys yes uh, please subscribe to my I PA. am yes I am Paris about yes. to 10,000 right now hey you've already crossed 5,000 I'm already I'm at 4,000 now hey, so to yeah I see 10,000 is there 10,000 guys yes all right okay thank you Keep doing your thing. okay thank you yes. so guys the man of the world that you are just talking about it was here. So, what I was actually saying, you know, like, uh, it was like an abrupt, let me pause the finish. So, guys, the man of the hour, the man that you are talking about, he just left because uh, it's showing some people around, some people that have come. I just hope I'll do a video with them. So, where were we? Where were we? We were telling a story. We were telling a story. So, where we were, like, uh, when he said, um, I should give him, like, two weeks for him to settle, then I is like is going to plan like where we are going to meet. Then I was like, I would love to come to Nyabohanza because yeah, there are a lot of YouTubers, the likes of Kinema Yugno, Nasto, Maja. I was like, I would love to come to to the village so that I can interact with the rest of them. Because I've never been to, I've never been to Nyabohanza. This was going to be my first time. Then I was like, it was like, it's okay, you can come to Nyabohanza. Then he told me because that time Arno was already in Kenya, Nairobi to be precise, because me I live in Mombasa. Then it was like you can the best time that you can come is when Aaron is coming around. I was like, okay, thank you for that idea. Then at uh, that time Aaron was supposed to leave for India. And then again, you know, like traveling is so busy and stuff like that. Like I used to text Aaron, he couldn't like get my text. The good thing I had is PS number. So I texted Aaron's number, Aaron's PA, and asked her, like, hey you guys, you're going to Nyabo Hansen. When are you going? So that like at least you can give me a lift because guys, I was so broke. I won't like so, when it came that time, they said like they were supposed to be traveling on, on it was on a Saturday, you know, I remember it was supposed to be on a Saturday. So, they were supposed to leave Nairobi on a Saturday, very early in the morning, by 7 a.m. So, because if it was supposed to be like they were going to leave at night, I could have traveled during the day, then at night, we just reach, we come here. But now, because they were traveling like on Saturday, very early in the morning, by 7 a.m., because they had a, like a personal car, and they had one seat that was vacant. So, because it was Aaron, his PM, and his uh, two, were they two or they were three? No, they were two photographers. No, they were three. They were two videographers and the driver. It was a no. So, we came, I got to Nairobi. I, I give thanks to Chalokush and uh, Lynette. They gave me a lift all the way from Mombasa. I didn't pay anything. I'm like, only it was just God. Because that time, guys, I was so, so broke. They gave me the lift from Mombasa. To Nairobi. That is Chalokush. Can you take him out? Chalokush and Lynette underscore to him. Take them out. So they gave me the lift from Mombasa to Nairobi. Getting to Nairobi, remember we are, we are supposed to like, leave the following day. So we left Nairobi the following day and 7 a.m. in the morning. We came like we drove like this place guys is far. Remember I traveled on Friday the whole day. Then again Saturday, the whole day coming because this place is so far, guys. So, when I remember, like when I met Aaron, I was like, Jesus, how do I even? I'm meeting Aaron for the very first time. I've never met him. Like we are always talking on phone as if we know each other. I'm like, he encourages me. He talks to me like a daughter. Like he's always there for me. I'm like, hey, I even that 
I said, told him, I'm not when I meet you, how am I going to behave? He's like, be him. Like, be, calm down. I'm not, uh, I'm like, okay. So we got there. I called the PA. She came to pick me up. We went. I met Aaron for the very first time. And I remember, for the first 30, 30 minutes, I was quiet. I wasn't even talking. Because I was like, wait a minute. So I'm here seated with Aaron Dante. The guy that I always see, all the way from US California. We are here. It's me and him seated, like making stories. I was like, okay. Then, like, I remember he asked me a question. Paris, are you, are you ready to blow up? I'm like, yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. The following day, we began our journey from now on Saturday. We began our journey from Nairobi, 7 a.m. Guys, you can check out my first, first videos. Those were the journeys. The same journey from Mombasa, I did it. The, from Mombasa to Nairobi, that is part one. Then from Nairobi to Nyabohanze, it's another video. You can check that video. It's on my old videos. I think uh, I'm going to try to link them. I'm going, I'm trying to link the, the, the links to those videos in the description box. Because even that time, guys, I didn't even know what I was going to call this channel. Because it was a new channel. Mara had said that he was going to open me a new channel. I was like, I don't even know what you are going to call this channel. But here we are with I Am Paris. Yeah. So we began our journey. It was a long journey, but we thank God for journey masses. We got to Nyabohanze, safe and sound. Uh, I saw Mara, I saw my young, and I was like, wow, so this is Mara. Like, Mara just came out and they was like, hello, Aaron, hello, this and this. Oh, I remember you, we have said you're going to open a channel for you, and you are here now. I'm like, guys, I had anxiety, but the way Mara spoke to us, my anxiety just disappeared. I was like, okay, so this is Mara now. It's like, it's the way you guys, you see Mara speaking on videos, actually, that is how he's on the ground. I was like, okay. Then I remember, you guys, you know, congrats, mom. You can never go to congrats, mom's house and leave the house without taking fruits. Hey. So when we got there, like, I don't know, I was like, I need to go and see the house. I need to go, like, see how is the, how is the going and stuff. And you guys, remember, we got here in the evening at around five. We got here very late. And Aaron was like, no, I need to see how, I need to see the progress of the house. How is everything? Let me see my room. Let me see the compound of Villa Medellin, things like that. So Aaron, Marwa, and uh, Aaron's videographers, photographers, they came down. So I, it was left me, Eve, that is Aaron's PA, and congrats, mom. And you know, like, guys, as I've told you, congrats, mom, signature each and every single day. It's always fruits. She was like, you guys, you're not going to leave this house without taking fruits. I'm like, she's like, no, you guys, you have to take these fruits. Right, guys, and also if you check that video, the same, same day. She was like, you are lady, you have to cook. We got in the kitchen, me and if we cooked. Guys, if you check even Mara's video, the first video that she came here, you can check that, that video. Like, I was there in the kitchen, I was cooking. When he was like telling you guys about me, I don't like, we have not even done a proper video, me and him. And you like, I'm like, yes, so guys, that is how I met Mara. And I can say, from that time till now, that is just like, um, right now it's almost, right now it's one month, because I always count the first time, the first day that I opened this channel, it was 9th September. And, and right now it's 11th. Is it 11th or 10th? Let's check. Uh -huh. Yes, today is 11th. October. So that is just like a, in span of uh, one month. On, yeah, it's one month and some days. So in that span of one month and some days, I've met very amazing friends, very amazing the community tab, like everybody on YouTube, everybody that supports me, that supports me, everybody that watches me, they are one of the best and I love you all so, 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 so much. Mwah, mwah. Like it's, I can't, I, I don't even know. I wish I could hug. Right now we are at 4,000. I wish I could hug the 4,000 of you all. Come here. You see my hands are so big. Wait. Can you see that? Yeah, like I wish I could just add the 4,000 of you and tell you a big thank you, a big shout out. Like you guys, we are on our road to 10,000 right now. I'm like you guys. And yeah, remember guys. I, so after that, one day like the following down, the following day now. So like you are just scrolling me around and it's PF. In the river, I don't know. Mar Aaron, Mar Mar was, Mar was doing something in the house. I don't know what he was doing, but we were just here at the river. Me, Aaron, and uh, Eve. Now that is Aaron's PM. Then, I, like, I, I told Aaron, Aaron, I can propose to Mara to be his PM because I can see how busy he is. 
and uh, cause me right now like I, I'm not in a position where I can say I can like I can help him financially like getting this getting this or getting that like I'm like what else can I do like let me just lend my helping hand and help him as an appreciation I know like you've not done much it was because it was the second day I know I've not done much but let me lend that hand and I was like yeah that's a good idea give it a shot and I don't know they tell me everything. Give it a shot, you never know. So I get like uh, I told I told Maron. Then Maron was like, yeah, I'm sure we can do that, but um we have like uh, to send some papers and I'm like, it's okay, no problem. Everything that is supposed to be done, we will do it definitely not. And then from that time, like it has been amazing, it has been amazing. I mean that I thank God. Right now we are we, we are in Villa Medellin. No guys, there is some way I skipped. So when we came here with Aaron and the crew. I don't used to sleep in Congrats mom's house and me and the crew we used to sleep at uh, it's an hotel in uh, is it Isebania? Yeah, in Isebania we used to sleep there. The rest of the group they were sleeping. That is Aaron now. He was sleeping at Congrats mom's house. So now when Aaron and the group they were living, now I had to come to Congrats mom's house. So like we were there, Congrats mom is so sweet. Like she knew like I'm trying to help Mara with things. So even till late. Even if like Congress mom, she's not a, she's like, hello Paris, has Mara eaten? Hello Paris, have you done this for Mara? Hello Paris, how are you? How is everything? Because right now, guys, we are in Villa Medellin, we are sleeping in Villa Medellin. Like, we are trying to work out things and see, is everything ready for the party? What do we need? What, like, everything is just like, so right now we are sleeping in Villa Medellin. So, guys, that was my story time of how I met Mara. Tell me, how are my storytelling skills? Should I do more storytelling or... You love the vlogs. Tell me in the comment section and your wish is going to be my command. If you want like the storytelling section, I can have a, like a specific days. We'll always have a, like a, we'll have a segment of storytelling Wednesday. Yeah, I think that can work. Like we call it storytelling Wednesdays. Because guys, let me tell you, me, I have a lot of stories to tell you. To start from this one. The way me and T, we were, almost, we were harassed by the police at the kenya Tanzania border. Our friend of mine, somebody that I used to call a sister, a friend, betrayed me. Our another friend of mine uh, turned against me because of her boyfriend. Like you guys, I have a lot of stories. Maybe like uh, my childhood, my how, how I was brought up also in a day that the house fell on us when we were still sleeping. You guys, hmm. like I have a lot of stories like that I can tell you. So if you want us like a cover, like a segment on Wednesday that we always have storytelling, talking to each other, tell me in the comment section, tell me, like we do love us to have that segment. Each and every Wednesday, we sit down and we have stories. And also guys, on Saturday, I'm going, every each and every Saturday, I will always be going live from 5 p.m. to around 6 or 6.30 p.m. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you have not followed me on Instagram, I'm because of my next live is going to be like a Q and A. Ask me, then I answer your question. Every question, those questions that you're always asking me, are you single? Are you dating so and so? Can you get married? This is because you guys, some of you, well, hey, hey, you love trouble. Eti Paris get married. Oh, Paris, this. I'm like, bro, are you forcing me to get married? So if you want to know all that, follow me. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put a Q and A on. Is it Friday? No, I'm going to put a Q and A tomorrow. Tomorrow is on Thursday, so I'm going to put a Q and A on my Instagram. So you can follow me that Paris underscore Mumo and ask all your questions, and I'm going to answer them all on my tomorrow on my live on Saturday. So yes, so guys, that has been the end of this video. And as I say, as I as I said again. Some of you tell me, like, I speak so fast, you can understand. Clearly, I'm sorry. That is how I am. Sometimes, sometimes even people used to tell me that I'm rapping. I'm like, I don't know. Like, you guys, I don't know. But I'll try my level best to try and talk slow. Because I always try, but it comes out like that. Kindly, bear with me. Forgive me. But I'm working on changing. So, I love you all so much. Thanks for watching this video. Let's meet in the next video. I love you all so, so, so much. Blocky says, mwah, 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 mwah. To the next one. Bye-bye.